JJ. Here we are, back at the Lotus Lounge. So I came across a lot of information today, and uh, there's a lot happening, and I know I've said this before, and I kind of alluded, um, I said something in our prior episode about um, my son and I, and we actually have a wager and um, we've made a bet as to whether or not DJT is returning. So he is insistent that that's not going to happen, and I am telling him that it is. So we've actually put a wager, and I do not gamble. Um, I, I, I'm so against gambling, um, and my ex-husband being a poker player and you know wanting to live in Las Vegas, and um, that's actually something else that I figured I was going to touch on at some point. Um, is my trips to Vegas. Um, and what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Um, but there are some things that occurred that, um, probably shifted and changed my kids perspective on alcohol. Uh, and I know that I had said in my last episode that I was going to touch on that. Um, but my point is, is I do not gamble and I have a wager with my son as to whether or not Mr. T is going to be returning. Um, And it's not even about a return. It's about he was elected. Um, And there's a crime that's been committed, and people are going to go down for that. So there's a lot of other things that I have seen. Um, The world is changing. Um, Many things are changing. And there's a realignment that's happening. And uh, I know some people are calling it the Great Reset. Other people are calling it the Great Awakening. Um, We are literally right now living in a time of history. Unlike any other. And there's going to be a lot of things continuing to be exposed. Uh, I just watched an amazing video on sun gazing. And the benefits of staring at the sun and how it can activate your DNA and the color or color wheel, if that's what you want to call it, or the, you know, color is light. So it like activates um, some of the DNA in your body. And uh, it was pretty amazing. So like the lies that we've been told about not staring at the sun and how that can cause damage to your eyes. When I say to you, we are living in an inverted world. I I fully mean that. Everything we've been taught is totally upside down. So don't stare at the sun. We're really supposed to stare at the sun. Okay. It's actually uh, documented. There is ancient history going back to sun gazing. And then this kind of makes a little bit more sense to me with some of these religions that are out there that um, worship Ra, R-A. I think that has something to do, like Ra was the sun god. Um, So they wouldn't be worshiping the sun unless there was actually something to it. And um, this video that I watched earlier was talking about how the sun is a plasma portal. And I've touched on the scripture and Bible and stuff. And I don't think that it's, it's literal. Like it's not supposed to be taken literally. I think there are analogies within the Bible that share some truths, but I think people are misinterpreting things. And I'm not going to sit here and interpret the entire Bible, but my point is, is that this ancient history that we have has been distorted. And that's part of the inversion of Satan's world. So when I say that, this is that's what I'm getting at, is that we are literally living in a world that is immensely dark. There's minimal morals. I mean, look at the music that we have going on. And Please, this makes absolutely no sense that we have the women that we have 
spreading their lyrics. And again, what I would say is spell casting because that's what's happening is they're casting a spell and we're all under a spell right now. And even like consciously, like I said, we're awake, but subconsciously or unconsciously deep in the mind, that's where some people are still sleeping, right? So I wanted to make sure that I, um, did this other relaxation because I'm telling you shit is going to get insane. I'm going to touch on it, um, but I wanted to first go through these relaxations. And it's kind of funny because this is how I run my therapy sessions or even my healing sessions because you can't really delve deep into the rooted issues until you can learn how to calm the system. So when I say calm the system, I'm talking about calming your central nervous system, calming the sympathetic, parasympathetic systems, calming the mind, responding differently so we're not in fight or flight mode and our adrenaline is rushed or we're not in a freeze or fawning type of state, right? So we need to learn the tools to be able to calm the system. So I'm going to share with you today my ragdoll relaxation guided meditation that I use. And this is how I um, like segue my therapy sessions. And again, um, TFCBT, trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, Got that training years and years ago. Uh, But it's something that I tend to tap back into um, because the first steps that it teaches is relaxation. It's really hard to be in your body and in your head dealing with all these uncomfortable feelings and emotions about pain and suffering and sorrow and betrayal and shame and guilt and anger and disappointment and all of those negative emotions that come up all that suffering, it's really difficult to address and to start working on one's trauma until you've taught the individual or they are putting into practice the tools, right? So it's the toolbox to building your foundation. So we have to build the house, but we can't build the house unless we have the proper foundation. And if we come from dysfunction and chaos and trauma and drama um, growing up, then what are our experiences? What do we know? Okay, right? We are what we know. You react according to your experiences and what you have gained knowledge on. So let me share this with you. Ragdoll relaxation. Um, I do have the peaceful butterfly. Um, They don't take very long, so I may end up doing that one again today. Uh, So I'm utilizing some of this time that I have. Um, I'll be busy like Monday through Wednesday. That's pretty much my schedule right now. And um, I've increased my caseload and... uh, I'm working towards helping other souls. Um, Lots of people are struggling, as we know, and I'm here to be of service. So um, I'm busy like Monday through Wednesday overall, and then um, a handful of things on Saturday I'm doing for appointments, and that leaves me free Thursday, Friday, uh, and most of Sunday, and today is Sunday, and You know, I put out a um, episode earlier in regards to the beach meditation. So let's go ahead and I'll share with you the ragdoll relaxation. Um, I use this one as well with all my clients, um, only if they're open uh, to wanting to hear about uh, guided meditation. But remember, too, that these meditations are ways for you to learn how to reprogram your subconscious mind. 
So close your eyes. Find yourself into a comfortably seated position. Or you can lie down. Lengthening, and elongating the back, making sure that the back is straight, back is pressed up against the chair, relaxing the shoulders. If you're lying down, allow your head to move from side to side, finding a comfortable position, allowing the feet to just open and widen and relax. Palms are face up. Open to receive, palms face down, either alongside you or in your lap, and face down is keeping in your energy. Closing your eyes, and gently think about a rag doll that you may have owned or that you may have seen. Think about how loose and limp it is. Notice all its parts just hanging there so relaxed as you imagine it you can notice how it just happens to hang down completely loose limp and floppy imagine that your body would feel like if you're doing the same thing I wonder what that would be like Do you think you can try to get your body as comfortable as that loose and floppy ragdoll? Imagine doing just that. Allow your body to get as loose and limp as the ragdoll. Feel your arms go completely limp now. And now how your fingers are relaxed too. Allow your whole face to relax, and now your neck. Feel your forehead relax. Notice how your eyelids relax completely as you continue to imagine that floppy stuffed toy. Now let your tummy relax. Breathe in deeply and slowly, all the way down to your tummy. And notice how it relaxes so easily. Notice how your legs become relaxed now too. They feel completely loose and limp. Maybe they even feel as if they're like jello, wobbly. Even your feet now begin to feel loose and limp. All your toes decide it's time that they too enjoy some much needed relaxation along the bottoms of your feet who work hard each day to bring you place to place. Feel how everything is just so loose, limp, and floppy now, just like that half-stuffed rag doll you imagined. This feels wonderful and relaxed. You know, relaxing our bodies gives them some much needed rest. When we relax our bodies, we can also allow our mind to relax as well. We can do this by simply allowing any thoughts to become like clouds slowly drift on by. It's interesting to watch your thoughts as clouds drifting by like this is in our minds. You might notice feeling very good. Notice how it feels to be relaxed and how peaceful that is. Take in a nice deep cleansing breath bringing in all the wonderful peacefulness around you. Imagine that the air is filled with little bubbles of peace. Breathe in all that peace and allow it to go everywhere in your body from head to toe. Doesn't that feel nice? 
Notice how your body responds. Anytime you feel stress or worry, or even when you just need to take a break, you can simply imagine breathing in peace and filling up your whole body with peace and relaxation. You'll really feel the peace within you, within your mind and your body. That's how powerful our imagination is. When we imagine something like breathing in peace, we really start to feel more peaceful. So take in another deep breath, filling yourself up with peace and happiness. Slowly exhale, but hold on to all the happiness and peace within. So now, pay attention to how your body is feeling. Thank your body for everything that it does for you each and every day. Remembering to give yourself time to rest, rejuvenate, replenish, and relax, just like that floppy rag doll. Give yourself a nice, good stretch when you're done relaxing. Listen to your body and be in tune to what it's saying to you. I hope you found this to be helpful. I do have one other relaxation that I like to use. I have other meditations that I'll probably pull out. Um, I know I have another one on um, like a mountain. So it's something that I use in yoga classes um, to feel solid and stable and grounded like a stable mountain. Um, So I will um, bring about the other relaxation. You guys are going to need it because for those of you that are not familiar with the New World Order, Agenda 21, Agenda 30, the Bilderberg Group, the Committee of 300, um, everything that happened over there at the G7, um, the cloning, the deep underground military bases, the evil and the darkness that has been running this world is about to all be exposed. There are some people that have been executed. There are other people that have been put into place because of that. I'm telling you, it's going down. You're going to need to tap in to means of being able to calm your mind and calm your body and get yourself back to center. So I hope this finds you all doing well. I hope you're having a lovely day. And I had to sneeze. My apologies. <laughs> um, but I hope all is well. And I'm here if you need anything. You can find me on my website, jjlotustherapy.com. I post occasionally on Twitter not as much anymore Uh, my Instagram is pictures of me and my family and my kids and stuff and things that are of interest to me so it's more of my own personal but Rev JJ Lotus but if you are feeling inclined and you are stressed out, overwhelmed or you are dealing with any sort of trauma responses as we've discussed mental health is primarily about trauma response and coping mechanisms let me know if there's something I could do to be of assistance I'm here to be of service to God and 
that is my role, and I'm very thankful that I know my purpose. Love y'all. Namaste.